Welcome to another edition of Capital Jazz TV. I am your host, Tony Richards, aboard the Independence or the Independence of the Sea. It's all about the 13th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise. And wow, I am sitting here next to, she's amazing. She is gorgeous. Aww. She is a sweetheart. Thank you. She has the voice of an angel. Thank you. I'm talking about your friend and my friend, none other than Layla Hathaway. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How good. are you? Good. Welcome back, family. Thank you. Good to be back. Because you know you are true Capital Jazz. Absolutely. Family. These are my favorite gigs all year yeah. out on the ocean. Yeah. So how's it feel to be back aboard the Super Feels Cruise? good. Lineup is really interesting this year. We mm -hmm. got nice bridges from the past to now to the sure. future. And yeah. I'm always into that. How did it feel on stage this year? It's a good set. Good sets. Yeah. Crowd was ready. Mm -hmm. Um room felt super ready yeah so it's always nice to go play for people that are super enthusiastic about music yeah you know how does this uh this audience this capital jazz super cruise audience stand out to you well first of all they're they are soul aficionados mm -hmm. so anything that you hit them with um, particularly pre-2010 sure I mean, they know everything. They yeah. got the facts. They know who played on the records. <laughs> That's right. You know what I mean? That's it's right. it's almost like a jazz crowd in yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. um, but they are soul music fans. Mm -hmm. Layla, when you come to this ship, I know you come ready to do what you do. Um, getting the love from the people, from the audience. How does that make you really feel when you get that much love from them? It's super gratifying. I mean, what I do is for them. Yeah. You know, they are the people that... Uh, that I work for. Mm -hmm. So the immediacy of live music for me is the thing that really feeds me. So yeah. it's the it's the way people look. It's the the light, the air, the yeah. smoke in the room, the way sure. people are breathing. Yeah. So they are part of that show. And I always tell them, you know, a lot of people sit there with their iPads kind of up. And it's like you got your whole tablet. <laughs> but they are an actual part of the show. Yeah. The way they interact with the musicians on stage sure. is telling a story. So mm. so each time is different. So when you get that phone call to come and perform again, because you've been a part of the Capital Jazz brand for a long time, the Fast yeah. and also the Super Cruise, is it exciting every time you get that Absolutely. phone call? Like, come on back. Absolutely. Come on back. I go immediately to buy T-shirts <laughs> and shorts and workout sure. clothes. <laughs> yeah. We've been looking for it. I hate when it starts. Yeah, because it means it's going to be over soon. Absolutely. So since we've seen you the last time, what's been going on with you? I've been working on some records, been okay. on tour. Um, they gave my dad uh, an honorary Lifetime Achievement oh, Award wow. from the Grammys. Yeah. And I have since mounted a live orchestrated show of his mm -hmm. material. So mm -hmm. we're going to get that moving in 2020 and 2021. Yeah. Okay. Working on my own project. Okay. Yeah. How did it feel with the Grammys? Let's go to that for a second. When they honored your dad. It's, it's excellent. Yeah. I mean, the further I think you get away from your death date, the harder it is to be acknowledged in that way. Sure. And as of January 13th, he's been gone 41 years. Sure. So it was an amazing thing for me to stand on that stage with my mm -hmm. mother and mm -hmm. my sister mm -hmm. and my nieces. Yeah. His family sure. and, and be able to accept that on yeah. his behalf. How's the rest of the family been doing, by the way? Good. Everybody's good? Everybody's great. Okay, good. Yeah. So this new project, tell us about that a little bit. Well, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Okay. I, I have promised the entire world that I'm going to make a Christmas project at some point. Um, I'm doing a winter project. I like to call it winter instead of Christmas because I don't want you to have to only play it at Christmas. Okay. And then I'm working That's on a good idea. some other stuff. Sure. And I don't know where it's going, but it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you ever work with any uh, artists, artists that are part of the Super Cruise? You know, I've done some work with Eric Roberson, okay. as you know. Of I've course. done some work with Rasan Patterson. Of course. Um, I really am looking forward to working with Moonchild. Mm. I like them a lot. Okay. How involved are you in these projects now? Are you very, I mean, thousand production percent. of everything. Oh, That's yeah. All. Always from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a total expression of my art. So, mm -hmm. you know, for the last album I had out, honestly, we made a full, little 17-minute film to go with the record. And um, a lot of it has to do with how the project is coming to me in my head. Okay. That means the artwork, the photos, how we mm -hmm. tie it in, what the brand partnerships are. You mm -hmm. know, I'm always thinking about those things. Are you in a certain space when all that comes to your head? Um, or it just flows? It can come at any time? You know, it changes there... as well, too. Wow. Uh, just as a, as a creative, I'm always thinking of ways to enhance what it is that you get to see. Sure. And nowadays, for better or for worse, your music 
is the centerpiece of your brand. Mm-hmm. So you got to you got to have a whole lot of stuff going just so people can see yeah. that you have music out there and available. Got you. So I'm involved in all of that. I always wanted to ask you this, man, because every time I see you, you're always you're the same. You're the same person. You're always very even kill. Whatever makes you just turn up. Do you just, I mean, turn up like mad, turn up? No, no, no. I turn mean, up just, crazy, turn yeah, up. just party, turn hmm. up. Just, you know, like, I've been DJing. I turn up when I'm DJing. That's right. But I even my, that. my turn up is still about here. <laughs> right. with it. I'm still okay. with a cool turn up, but um, I love. I love that yeah. DJing and, and making people dance. So, so how did that come about? Because I, I hate I missed that show. Oh. I wanted to be there so bad. I have always been interested, and then I added a DJ to my show, and yeah. we added a piece of my show that I could DJ. Got you. And DJ Spark has been teaching me all this time. And the first time I actually cruised with DJ Francis, yeah, she let me get on a turntable. So she, you know, DJ Kemet, all of them have given me an mm-hmm. opportunity mm-hmm. to learn something or to listen to something. Yeah, and so I owe a debt of gratitude so to all the DJs. So when you're DJing, what's your set like? I mean, what kind of? My set is a lot of a lot of old school. Okay. And then a lot of kind of more Euro soul, if that makes a sure any sense to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I kind of want to go to Ibiza and go to Carnival. Okay. And, go other places and DJ and take soul music and jazz and fusion. Yeah. It's kind of a mix up. Okay. I have got to get the tape and watch that yeah. set. Man, I hate I missed it too. It was too. fun. <laughs> so social media, how does that play a role in what you're doing today? Well, it's a huge thing. I mean, I started with my pink room in 1998. Mm-hmm. That's before that predates Twitter. That predates Facebook. Yeah. Um, and I have always enjoyed talking to people about what's happening in right. the culture. I'm a culture junkie. Yeah. And so for me to be able to communicate with those people anytime mm-hmm. means the world to me. To say, I'm coming to your city, what songs do you want to hear? Sure. Um, to find out what they are thinking about, to find out you know, who you're voting for. Yeah. Just to have this conversation, these conversations to me is important and feeds the art. Got you. So your social media handle, share all that with our Layla Hathaway. All that. It's very simple. Everything. It's L A L A H. Okay. Because a lot of people. So you don't have different ones for no, Instagram. No. A lot of people Twitter. go in and say, hey, Lala. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's like that's, that's Carmelo's wife. <laughs> there it is. Absolutely. Well, girl, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much to for having me. To have you here aboard the Super Cruise. So great to be back. You are a true honorary family member for life. Thank man. you. Come and see us again, all I right? I sure will. There she is, y'all. Layla Hathaway. I'm Tony Richards. This is Capital Jazz TV.